Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Okay, I got a new vehicle and Molly got a present too. Not a present, I guess. I got Molly something. <laughs> I suppose it's a present. So she loves to go in the... And the thing that I can't say out loud and I had one of these hammocks for the back seat. I washed it, like I had it in my vehicle for, I had it in my truck for quite a while and I washed it a couple of times and it was really just falling apart. Like the vinyl backing on it was just crumbly. So I threw it out when I got rid of my old vehicle and now I have a new vehicle and I have a new hammock. I'm so excited. This wasn't supposed to come for like seven days. And because of that, I hadn't had Molly, well, I have had her in the vehicle, but just with a blanket and it was blowing all around and it wasn't, just wasn't really working out. So I have this new one and I'm wondering if I can show you without like uh, making a huge mess. But, oh, there's like little pieces everywhere. So if you guys have a dog that rides in your vehicle with you, and if you've never had one of these, seriously, highly recommend. I think I did put it in my uh, recommended products in my Amazon store. Sorry, this lighting is not good, I'm sure. But, okay, so the features of this one. So what you see on the counter is where she would be standing on the seat. This is the back part of the seat. This is the front part of the seat. God, I hope this is working for you guys. And if you see this, this is the middle. So this is an option that my old one didn't have. This is mesh. So she can see through that. And not only that, you can open it at the mesh part. Like how cool is that for a dog accessory? Oh my. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna go outside right now and put it in. And I would love to take you guys with me, but I don't, I don't think I have any place to set up the camera. But I'll try to show you after. Off I go. Hey guys, happy vlog week. I think 61, this will be. I'd really like to get two vlogs up in a week. Although, that doesn't seem to be working out. It's like I start out with great intentions and then I get all up in my head, and I've told you guys this before, I get all up in my head and I'm like, oh, that's not interesting, I'm not gonna vlog that, nobody wants to watch that. You know, and then I open my iPad while I'm sitting here doing this tedious nonsense, and um, I watch somebody else do mundane stuff and love every minute of it. Cannot wait for their next vlog, so. <sighs> Do you want to see what I'm doing? Hold on. <sighs> okay. Can't hang on to it, can't let it go. You know, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Just a second, just a second. Just a sec. I'm gonna relocate you. So I have one of these God forsaken acrylic shelves, like what sits over beside me. These were invaluable last time I put one of these together and they're tweezers to hold the nut because you cannot get your fingers in there. Another thing you can do is like stick it to your finger. I'll show you in a second. So. There. Okay, one, one in, one down, 4,800 to go. You guys can stay and watch this, but I'm, I'm gonna warn ya, it's probably gonna be some swearing. Because, well, because that's, that's just who I am as a person, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so then the tweezers, 
to hang on to the knot as you tighten the screw. I'm just gonna angle this off the desk so that I can. And they send you the screwdriver, so, you know, so that you can keep that in a junk drawer for the next 10 years and wonder what it belongs to. But that's okay. So I gotta tell you guys, and I think I told you, I don't know, in one of the other vlogs, <laughs> this weird thing keeps happening to us at my house. Okay, you, you, I, gotta, I gotta see your face for this. Okay, I had to change you up, but you weren't quite tall enough. So this weird thing <laughs> keeps happening at my house. <laughs> so, we live in a community outside of our town. And about 10 minutes outside. And a few minutes from us, I don't, I don't know, oh yeah, this is where I get all confused. I, I don't know how far, anyway, a few minutes from us. There is an Amish community. It's not huge, um, but it's an Amish community. They've been here for as long as I can remember. Sweet people. They um, sell their... Oh. They sell vegetables and maple syrup and all that good stuff. So, a couple weeks ago, one night at 4 a.m., we could hear noise. So we go out, we stand in the kitchen, there's a lot of theft in our area, and we wait, we don't see anything, you know, the whole shamazzle what you do when you hear something in the middle of the night. So then, like 20 minutes later, it starts happening again, we go back out. Lo and behold, Neil says to me, there's a dog out here. No, there isn't. He's crazy. So I holler, don't open the door because I'm going back to the bedroom because I'm woozy. Like it's 4 a.m. We've been woken up by this noise. So I'm like, Ugh, I've got to sit down. So I'm like sitting on the side of the bed. He hollers, there's a dog out here. Don't open the door. Cause I'm like, no way that's a dog. It's either a big ass raccoon or a bear cub or, and then I'm like, wait a minute as I'm going down the hallway, trying to get my glasses on my face and you know, how great you are at 4 a.m. Our backyard is fenced. It is fenced. Lo and behold, there is a dog in our backyard and he is the most adorable dog you ever did see. He's cute as a button, cute as a button, adorable. No, he did not climb over. It's a chain link fence. He had little corgi legs on him and he hadn't missed any suckers. So, you know, he was chubby. And also he has like a gray little muzzle on him. So I'm like, well, you didn't climb over. You must have climbed under. Nope, we could find nowhere. This really isn't working out for me. Where that dog would have climbed under, nowhere. So, we posted to, I posted to Facebook at 4 a.m. Well, by the time people start waking up, one of the neighbors private messages me and was like, I am sure that dog's name is Ranger and he belongs to the Amish. I was like, well, they're not gonna see that on Facebook, are they? So Neil drives over, my boyfriend, drives over to the Amish community, has his phone and says, is this your dog? And they said, oh my God, yeah, that's Ranger. So he says, I'll go get him. Comes back over to the house, gets Ranger, puts him in the truck, takes him back over, all's well in the world. <laughs> Ranger's back home. Fast forward, last night, 1 a.m. Comes a little doggy paw knock at the door. It's Ranger. He's back. And he's in our fenced in backyard again. Wow. And listen guys, he's so excited to see us. We turn on the back light and he's like, I'm back. Molly's pissed. pissed. She doesn't even like other dogs. She doesn't like Ranger. Anyway, so I said, what are we gonna do? It's 1 a.m. Like, it's not 4 a.m. this time, it's 1 a.m. It's a bit different. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll put a blanket out for him again because he's filthy because he's been walking through the brush and the woods and the bushes to get to our house. And Neil's like, nope, I'm gonna take him back over right now. So he takes him over to like 
there's a little like road that goes into the Amish property. So he takes him over to there, lets him out of the truck, and he like bounds down the road. He said he left the like headlights pointing down the road till the dog got down the road and he was like heading for home. So we literally, I just got off the phone with Neil and I'm like, I can't believe with a beagle mix dog that we have to fortify our fence <laughs> for the Amish dog. I don't know why he keeps getting in. It is hilarious, but I can say that there is a uncanny resemblance between this dog and my old dog, my old dog bear. There is an uncanny resemblance. And yeah, I'm gonna pop up the pictures right here and you guys can tell me that I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a, a crazy resemblance <laughs> between the two of them. But anyway, so that's my story. So of course, by the time we got over there and they got back and whatever, so we had a late night <laughs> and it was kind of hard getting back to sleep because we were both like, what just happened? Like, I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. Anyway, that's my... That's my story. That's our drama. That's the kind of drama we have. Stray dogs showing up. I'm gonna have gray hair over this. And I have a client in 15 minutes. Certainly not gonna be done this. I can't believe I chose to do this over swatches. I have swatch dots left to do. Should have done those. I need my hair cut this afternoon because, you know, short hair girl problems. I don't think we're doing anything else to it, but I mean, if we do, we do, whatever. It's my last, my last appointment of the day is for me. So you guys, you guys with short hair, how often are you getting yours trimmed or cut or whatever? I don't even know. I think this was, three weeks or four. It might be four. And I felt like it was just like a week too long. <laughs> Is there a bleep option on iMovie? Because that's what I used to edit with. Thanks. Yeah, so if this was, if this was four weeks, I feel like it was about a week too long. But anyway, it's fine. Cause I have these, I have this stuff that sticks out. It's a lot of fun. And if I look in the mirror the right way, like front facing, I can like see it. It's cool. I love it. <sighs> this is not the stuff that I'm good at. I'm gonna get ready for my client. Maybe take an Advil, drink some water, sage, Palo Santo. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. Woo, you're moving. I'm back. Um, I have a few minutes this morning. I have an hour because my first client had something happen and forgot about her appointment. So we rescheduled. She's coming tomorrow. It's fine. And um, I was kind of concerned though, cause she normally doesn't do that. So I was like, uh oh, I don't even want to ask. But okay, so these really need to come off. That middle finger with the design on it, like these were coffin, you can kind of tell. Why am I so blurry? Um, the middle finger isn't even coffin anymore cause it's just wore down from the file. So anyway, um, I'm gonna take these off. I thought I had in mind what I'd like to do, but now I'm not so sure. So I'm just going to take my tip cutters that I never use on clients. These are like rusted a little on the inside this spring. Um, they're not rusted anywhere on the outside, but uh, these are, I got these in 2005 and I can't let them go. I mean, obviously I wasn't doing nails in 2005. I was like six, but you know, they've seen my potential and sent them to me. I was gonna, my intention was to soak them, but I don't know. I don't know if I wanna do that. None of them 
are peeling off. Like none of them. They're they're gel X. By the, oh, <laughs> anyway. Sometimes if you now, I am not in any way, in any way, telling you that prying, pulling, poking, or otherwise removing these violently are the way to go. But I'm just gonna say. If you get under the nail in the right place and twist, like not violently, of course, but twist a little bit, there's a raccoon across the road. Um, it will, they will generally come off. If they don't, then I just continue with filing, but, um, and what happens is, and I'm sure I can't show you this. It wouldn't translate on the camera, but what happens is the nail comes off the gel and the gel stays on the finger. So meaning I can remove the nail, no damage, and then file the gel off, or I could soak the gel off. Um, but that's just less damage because before when I was wearing them, when I made myself stop was I was just wrecking them when I would take them off. Sorry, I'm out of center. I was just wrecking them when I would take them off and pulling and prying and I would do it at night when I'm like sitting on the couch or laying in bed watching TV. It wasn't ideal. So my thumbnail, this one is not coming off. It's not even gonna offer. So I'm gonna file it off and I won't make you guys watch that because it's brutal and it's loud, but Oh, sometimes it just feels good to make a fist after removing long nails. I'm going to do this and do a little bit of buffing on these ones and then I'll be back. Uh, I don't know if I'll put, I have an hour. I might put the new set on, but I need to get some more tips. I have long, square, natural, medium coffin sculpted and medium oval natural. I really want, is my oval natural? Coffin medium sculpted. Natural square long, they would be at the bottom, you know that. Natural round medium. I would really love to have sculpted long, long stiletto. I'd really like to have that I think. So I might take a look. I don't normally order from them so it's just it ends up being a lot of gel X. Anyway I might take a look and see what I can find. I mean I could take the long squares and turn them into whatever um, shape I want but I'm not going to be happy with them. I like leaving those the shape and length that they are because I feel like once I start messing with them, they just get all distorted and I never end up loving the shape that they end up. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling, continue to drink my coffee, stop picking at this, and uh, get these off of here. Hey guys, good morning, welcome back to the vlog. It is actually Sunday and, you know, the Sunday feels. Anyway, I just got here, it's, 11.30, a little after 11.30, and I figured I would continue this vlog today and then finish it out today probably, but check this out. So, these are all the things necessary to take a nail art class. So sometimes, every once in a while, when I'm feeling a little uninspired, I will look around and try to find a nail art class that I can take and it just pumps up the inspiration. So as a matter of fact, I'd been thinking about it for a while. I had bought a course um, online on Instagram from somebody that I followed for a bit and I mistakenly bought it in another language. Um, I was sure I double checked it. I must not have, so it ended up being in another language and they were not able to send me the English one. So I haven't even looked at it yet. I 
could i'm sure i could take it i'm sure that it translates just fine however i was just kind of bummed about it so i haven't even looked at it yet but this is a different course and it is in english and it's going to be amazing and it's going to give me lots of inspo to get into the fall nail art and then really into the winter nail art like we're not that far so uh, speaking of woke up this morning it was 63 in the house so when do we turn the heat on I'm not sure I haven't decided we don't have the actual heat on like the way our units work here the heat or the air has to be on on all four of them in order for them to go to that mode so if they're all on air they're all on air but if you want heat out of one of them you have to turn all four onto heat we haven't done that yet so i was a little concerned what the temperature might be in here today um so i'm wearing like extra layers i love this jacket it is my favorite and leggings and boots and big socks because I'm probably going to take the boots off. She estimates the class is going to be between four and five-ish hours. Also not sure if I'll stay for the full thing. It is Sunday. Sometimes things crop up to do. It stays live on her page for a while, so I, I'm able to rewatch it. Um, and I do intend on watching it and doing it. See, here's the thing. Sometimes I like to watch them and not do the nail art that moment like i will do it but not in that moment with the person i like to watch it so we'll see what happens whether this becomes more of a watch thing i did get all the supplies out as you guys seen i stopped and got an extra large tea and some timbits because it's gonna take a while i might need some sugar <laughs> probably not but anyway um what else do i have to say that's about it that's about it. So it's just getting unpacked, getting ready, getting my computer ready, and having a really cool nail art class. So let's do it. Okay, so I just finished the nail art class that I took. I snuck out a little bit early. Um, like I said before, it is on a replay for two weeks, so I'm gonna go back and watch. But I, on the third nail, got a little frustrated and had to kind of start over, which meant it wasn't gonna go well for me any longer. So it was literally the simplest of mistakes, but I just kind of messed it up a little bit and just hit a wall with it. So it had been, oh my gosh, like three hours. So I figured that was enough for me for now. I wasn't gonna push it too far because I would end up getting upset with it. Um, so I'm packing up. I have almost everything cleaned up, um, except for a gel polish that I borrowed from Michelle. I'm gonna take that back over to her room and yeah, go back home. But I'm gonna take the with me and uh, see what else I can film. I don't even know how much footage I have for this vlog. This is what happens. I go a couple of days and get super, super busy with clients and then don't film a lot and then I can't remember what I have. 